Hi guys, probably the most requested video we get on this channel is Rachel, heaven's sakes, show us how you cook with everything that you preserve and put up. Well, for Father's Day this year, I got tied a um, walleye charter fishing trip. If you don't know, we live here in Southeast Michigan and we are just 10 miles inland from Lake Erie. And Lake Erie is absolutely one of the best fishing spots for walleye in the United States. And I am going to be making up some fish tacos with our catch. We caught our limit in about two and a half hours and limit being I don't know what that was. Five fish per person, something like that. Beautiful, big fillets. They were nice sized fish. I'm just cutting these up into two inch fish sticks. Oops, no, you cannot have that. And um, we're gonna be making up some fish tacos. So let me tell you some of the exciting things we're gonna be using from our pantry for this meal. So I brag and brag and brag about my pickled coleslaw. I'm in love, guys. It's that simple. So we're gonna be making up a yummy lime jalapeno cilantro slaw for the topping on our fish tacos with this. I've got, of course, our fresh caught fish we'll be making. Um, so oh, I should go back. So to the slaw, we'll be adding cowboy candy and our homemade mayo. Um, I've got pinto beans we'll be making up, um, a Mexican style cilantro lime salsa, refried bean for our side dish. We eat pretty simple here. We don't have a lot of inputs. I've got cilantro from the garden. Um, what else do we have going on? Of course, our eggs. Yeah, it's just a real simple meal. So let's get going. Okay, the fish won't take long at all to cook, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these beans started. All right, one of the things that I do when I rinse, um, drain my beans is I do give them one rinse. And I have just a little bit of salsa left in this jar, so we'll throw that in and just a hint of lime juice. And then I'm just going to put some sprigs of um, cilantro in there. I won't leave it in, but we'll put a couple sprigs in just while it's cooking. And we'll salt to taste. Maybe add a dash of cumin. We'll let that heat up while we are getting the sh um, fish all battered up. Okay, so you're just gonna make a simple egg wash. Uh, nothing else, I don't anyway. There's lots of different ways you can batter fish, but I'm just gonna do a simple egg wash. But I'm gonna spice my flour mixture that I dredge my fish in. And I just eye it. I'll leave an actual recipe in the description below for you guys if you wanna make it yourself. So I just do like one part panko breadcrumbs and about one part flour. This is a flake sea salt, so it's really gonna hold the texture in the, in the fish. Some ground mustard. Some paprika. coriander, cumin, and some chili powder. Nope, I forgot we're all out of chili powder. That's gonna have to do. Okay, so mix this together.
I just do the sniff test to see if there's enough seasoning. Now I'll bring you guys back. What I'm gonna do is dip the fish in the egg wash, dip it in the flour, and then we will heat up our oil and get to frying. All right, I got just enough oil to kind of cover the pan. And we have our fish all breaded. I have one lone piece that I ran out of breading for, but that's okay. And let me just refresh my memory. That's what I thought. Two to three minutes per side over medium heat. So while this oil is getting hot, um, I'm gonna get my cilantro chopped and my coleslaw drained. Here, so you guys, if you were with me when I canned this, I'll take a bite, see if you guys can hear the crunch. Still very, very crunchy. Okay, to this, I just do this again by eye. I always say like one part mayonnaise, and it's as creamy as you want it. Of course, you can eat it with just this um, as is, like the vinegar base. And if you didn't want to use mayonnaise and sour cream, you certainly could and just add a dash of cowboy candy and cilantro and lime juice for, I guess, a healthier option. But if we're going to eat my favorite dish in the world, I'm going to go all out. And then one part sour cream. little bit of cowboy candy. And a dash of lime juice. Oh, and our cilantro, don't forget that. I'm a cilantro fanatic, so I usually pull out way more than I need because I love it, but use it to your discretion, I should say. Gonna mix this all together. Check for the basically the consistency that you're looking for, for with respect to flavor com um, complexities and um, sauciness. I do want this like a topping on my tacos, so I want it to instead of using like sour cream, I want this to have some hold to it. That looks about right. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, I think it might need a little bit more cowboy candy. Okay, my oil's probably heated behind me, so it's time to fry the fish. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I just put the last batch of fish in the pan, so let's jump over. I'm gonna show you how quick it is to throw together a mock tartar sauce. So I have zucchini relish. Just gonna kinda drain a spoon of that. Then get out a spoon of mayo. Mix that together. And you have a quick mock tartar sauce. Now Todd's gonna need more than that, so let me grab some more. I'm watching this fish behind me. Okay. 
Okay, the final step that I do with my beans is I just mash them to get that refried bean texture. I just pulled out the cilantro and then I'm just gonna mash them. I just uh, steamed some tortillas and the only other thing I got out, of course, that we don't grow here on the farm is cheese. So. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll show you the way I like to make my fish tacos. Two fish sticks. <laughs> and coleslaw. Coleslaw and some, and some cheese. These look good. Did you cook them just like last time? A little different. I couldn't find the exact recipe I used last time. And we didn't have chili powder because oh. <laughs> I used it all in our Mexican tomatoes. Um, so one thing I guess I'll say is I've made this coleslaw now a half a dozen times and it keeps in the fridge for me easily a week. So I've often have it many times for leftovers after that. Oh, forgot beans. I'm trying it without. But you put some of your tartar sauce on it? Mm. Yeah. Good? Mm hmm. All right, guys, thanks for watching and hope this inspires you of some of the ways that you can put up your own food and be really creative in the kitchen still with what you got. Good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm.